A Facebook page created by New Dunedin lobby group Pro Oil and Gas Otago had attracted more than 3,000 likes by this afternoon. The group has said it was formed to counter scaremongering by opponents of oil and gas exploration. Spokeswoman Robin Broughton has been unable to come in for an interview. Instead, Councillor Andrew Wiley has agreed to speak for the group. Good evening, Andrew. Good evening. First of all, can you clarify for us what your role is in the group? Well, I'm a strong advocate of oil and gas exploration, and I've um, made that quite clear uh, through my columns in the paper and opinion piece. And uh, I'm an avid supporter of the Facebook group. So who started this group and why? It was a group of businessmen that have been active uh, in the engineering cluster predominantly and like-minded business people that really want to see Dunedin grow and prosper um, across all industries. And they see this is a great opportunity for the city. Mm. Why do you think so many people are protesting against the drilling? Well, the biggest issue I see is that it's the, they keep protesting on oil. And I think if they actually looked at it and, and the research is telling us it's gas, and said, okay, you know, we're exploring for gas and it's gas exploration, I think the numbers would dramatically reduce. But the connotations of oil, the visuals and everything else, I think is getting some people really wound up. And I think what we really have to be mindful in Otago is gas and gas and more gas. So what's your response to concerns about fossil fuels and climate change? Is it sensible to continue to mine and burn fossil fuels? Well, fossil fuels are, um, everybody knows that if you're going to burn oil, gas, uh, oil or coal and those types of fossil fuels, you know, we're, we're really going down a one-way street. It's not a great street. What we, look, what we see with gas is it, it's much cleaner. And if we can really supply the world with, you know, the, the gas we have offshore, then that's got a great opportunity to really change what's happening through Asia, um, particularly to really uh, reduce their carbon emissions. You're not going to clean them up. And I think long term, you know, we'll when we do actually get to a point where we can be self-generating and cleaner, greener, right across the board, I think everybody will benefit. But in the meantime, gas is a far better alternative than um, oil or coal. Now, you met with Anna Darko on Friday. What was discussed? I personally wasn't there. Um, the group did, and essentially Anna Darko are regularly in town and they're meeting with people that may be involved in the oil and gas or in the gas industry exploration. And these people were... Um, had a meeting with Anadarko and and basically it was just a catch up. You know, um, I think uh, Alan Say was down here prominently talking to uh, North Otago Mayor and catching up with some other people around town. What benefits do you see the drilling bringing to the city? Jobs, jobs, jobs. You know, I stood on a platform to be elected on Grow Jobs, Grow Dunedin, um, and that's what these like-minded business people really are that are part of the uh, you know pro oil and gas uh, Otago Facebook page are about. You know, when you look at Taranaki, you know, there's 3,700 direct jobs and up to 7,700 direct and indirect jobs in the um, Taranaki economy benefiting from the oil and gas industry. That money then will really translate, or the benefits really translate across the whole community. What do you feel about the potential threat to the marine environment out there? Well, I sat through a, um, a session with Shell just before, well, it was early December. And one of the things that I found really interesting was from them is that right now they're doing their uh, S2 seismic testing um, or exploration. They've got people on the boat monitoring sea life and all the way through. If a whale comes along or any sea creature comes along, they stop. They shut down and they have a stand down period waiting for those marine life to pass. Where they're sitting and what they're, the, what they're doing in that area is world class. They really are monitoring and really keeping tabs on, on the sea life. Um, and also, they are far enough offshore that it misses a lot of the currents. So what is Pro Oil and Gas Otago planning for the future? Well, I think the key thing is we really want to show when Anadaka comes to town that, or any company that comes to town and wants to um, expand and grow jobs, uh, but in particular Anadaka or Shell, that you know there is another voice and we are looking forward to meeting them and welcoming them to our community. Councillor Andrew Wiley, thanks very much for Thank your time. You.